So all students now uh, have Screencastify when they log into their Chromebooks, doesn't matter if it's elementary or middle school. And so when I go up, it's this button right here, that Screencastify. And um, like I said, if the student's on a uh, RCST device, it's in their Chrome, um, it will automatically come up. Um, but if not, so if they're using a the parent's device, to download Screencastify, you just go to Screencastify, and mine will say already installed, but you've installed in Chrome, so you need to be using Chrome. Um, but what's great about that is once students have this, is they can then record and they can decide if they want webcam. And once again, webcam um, is when it shows your face when you're going over slides. Um, or and when, the difference between these are browser tab would record just what's in this, uh, this tab right here, or desktop would record the whole screen. Or if you just want to say hi, let's say a student wanted to say hi, their teacher webcam only is where it's only your face. So like I'll do this real quick just to show you. Um, so here's webcam. So and it gives you a countdown. And uh, only you can see because I got to drag this over here. So there it is on webcam. I can uh, stop that. And so I go up here, press stop. And that's the webcam. Um, and it's going to pop up and show me where that is. All right. Uh, or once again, if I go up here, if I press, um, you know, let's say I'm going to do my desktop or tab um, and I embed webcam, that's where it's going to show um, right down here. So once again, that's embedding the webcam. So like if I uh, presented this, See, there I am, I can still talk over my slides, talk about this math problem I did. And so that's what it looks like when you embed the webcam. And then the other option, and once again, that will pop up, is if I just go up here and I wanna record my voice, I can turn off embed webcam, and then it just is talking over slides. So once again, three different options. You can go webcam only, so you just see your face. You can do desktop so your teacher can see what's on your desktop. Um, you can uh, do what's on your desktop and embed yourself talking. So those are the different options. And then I'll show you once you have that, how you then can turn in an assignment or share that link with your teacher. All right, so I wanna show you uh, how students can turn in assignments uh, from their um, Screencastify. So how they can take their Screencastify and get the link and whether it's an assignment or email the teacher. So if I go up here to Screencastify, and I'm recording right now, so it might look a little different when you click on that, but the menu button here, if I go to my recordings, so when I go to my recordings um, and I click on a video, right here it says copy shareable link. So I can copy that link, I can go to my Google Classroom, I could leave it as a comment. Uh, this is an assignment. So like if I wanted to um, paste as an assignment, I could hit the link, add the link that way. So basically I'm just copying the link and putting it either in comments or wherever I wanna put it or on an assignment. Or the other option is right here in my video, I can share directly to Classroom. So I click on that. And I have to choose a class. So for like middle school students, especially, this is helpful because, you know, trying to find what class you're a part of. And then I can choose the assignment. I can press go. And then I can attach it. And it might take a second here, but um, basically once it's attached, I go to view assignment. And then I would just press turn in because I'm now done with that. And there you go. That's how you... Uh, get a Screencastify video. Once again, you can get a, I'll go back here, get a share, shareable link. When I press this, it copies the link and I can email it, put it in Classroom or just share right to Classroom if there's an assignment. So that's how you take the video and get it to your teacher.